We're gonna set up your first campaign. But first, when you're setting up your first campaign, the first thing you're gonna wanna look at is researching your keywords. Think of them as your secret sauce to your PPC success. Use Amazon keyword tools such as Helium 10. Hey there, Amazon enthusiasts. Welcome back to Enabling E-Commerce, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of selling on Amazon. I am an Amazon seller and consultant. I launch and manage several six-figure brands on Amazon. And today we're gonna talk about something that might sound a bit intimidating, but is absolutely crucial for your success. Amazon PPC. That's pay-per-click advertising for the uninitiated. Stick around, and by the end of this video, you'll be setting up your or first PPC campaign like a pro. So let's get started. So what exactly is Amazon PPC? Well, in simple terms, it's a way to pay Amazon to promote your products. Every time someone clicks on your ad, you pay Amazon a small fee. It's like renting a billboard on the busiest highway in the entire world, except you only pay when someone actually looks at your billboard. There are three main types of PPC campaigns. There's sponsored product, there's sponsored brands, and there's sponsored display. But for now, we'll focus on sponsored product. This is perfect for beginners and actually oftentimes most sellers use. So all right, why should you even care about PPC? And that's a great question. First off, visibility. Amazon is a crazy jungle of thousands of trillions of products and PPC is your machete to carve your way through that jungle. It helps your products stand out in a crowded marketplace and Amazon is very, very crowded. Next, why should you care about it? Sales growth, taking market share. PPC can drive a ton of traffic to your listings that it's not currently getting. It will turn potential customers into actual buyers. Imagine launching a new product and seeing sales Sales roll in faster than you can say prime shipping. And let's not forget the competitive edge. With PPC, you're not just surviving, you're gonna thrive in the Amazon marketplace. Even if you're a newbie, PPC lets you compete with the big boys, the big dogs, the big brands on Amazon. So now let's roll up our sleeves and we're gonna set up your first campaign. But first, when you're setting up your first campaign, the first thing you're gonna wanna look at is researching your keywords. Think of them as your secret sauce to your PPC success. Use Amazon Amazon keyword tools such as Helium 10, which is premium, and Jungle Scout. Now these are paid tools, but they are gonna help you rise above the rest. I actually recommend Helium 10 for this. This is what I use. And if you don't already have it, go get it now. Seriously, there's a link in my description for Helium 10 and you're gonna get a nice discount if you use that link. So literally, go get it. Now, once you got your keywords, head over to Amazon Seller Central, click on Campaign Manager, and then Create Campaign. For beginners, I recommend starting with sponsored products as we talked about earlier. Now choose the product you wanna advertise. If you have one product, just choose that. But look for that product that we're gonna be setting up. Now choose your targeting type. Automatic targeting is like allowing Amazon's AI to do the heavy lifting for you. For manual targeting, you'll handpick your keywords or you can handpick the products you wanna target. Let's get back to automatic campaigns. They're great at times, but not so great for other times. Typically, they're great for keyword discovery or low bid strategies, but sometimes they can overspend, so you need to be careful with them. Now, specific keywords, if you don't have Helium 10, and again, you should go get it, you can use Amazon suggested keywords to start. Now, you can choose broad, phrase, or exact match, any of the three or all three. These are the three types of keyword targeting that you can do. So broad match means the keywords you select can be contained in the customer search string. So in this instance, a broad match on olive oil could match customer searches for extra virgin olive oil, olive oil, oil olive, E-V-O-O, -O, olive oil Italian. So any of those things, those would be a broad match. Now phrase match means the keyword you select can be contained in the customer search string in the order that you set it. So in this instance, since a phrase match on olive oil could match customer searches for olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O, olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O, olive oil, Italian. Those are all phrase matches because olive oil is contained in the string and it's not broken up like a broad match in random. Uh, you can have keywords on the left or the right or both. 
okay? Uh, and it would still be a match for your ad targeting. Now, exact match means the keywords you select must be the only words in the customer search strength in the order you set it. So in the instance, uh, exact match uh, on olive oil could only match customer searches, searches for olive oil. So it can't be EVOO olive oil or anything around it. it, just has to be olive oil and it's an exact match and then your ad will display, right? Product targeting is where you target competing or complementary products. I'll get into this. I love product targeting. I mean, I absolutely love it. If you want to see it ASAP, leave a comment. You know, if you really want to see me create a video on this on how I use it, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you want to learn how I really use it, because I mean, it is so powerful in getting your product considered by people looking for similar products. I can create a video, but leave a comment below, okay? For now, we'll go with all three keyword types, broad, phrase, and exact. And for future campaigns, I actually recommend you going with just one keyword type per campaign because you're gonna be rolling out hundreds and it's gonna allow you to really laser in and really optimize your campaigns over time. Now let's set your bids. For beginners, for you, go with Amazon's suggested bid, all right? You can always tweak this bid later and set your daily budget around 10 or $20 a day. This is small, it's small, I know, but let's, Let's be conservative. You can always increase that or decrease it in the future. And give your campaign a catchy name. Let's have some fun, like my first awesome campaign, right? Let's name it that. Actually, I'm just kidding, don't do that. You want to plan on setting up multiple campaigns. And because of that, I suggest coming up with a logical naming convention that works for you so that you can know what that campaign without actually clicking into it by reading the title. And so I have specific campaign naming conventions Conventions I use. If you'd like me to describe it uh, in the comments, leave a comment below letting me know this is of interest to you. For now, we will name this all underscore ASIN, which is the ASIN of the product, underscore olive oil. And that will tell us that it covers all keyword types. This is the product, the ASIN, and the keyword is olive oil. Now, ASIN is the Amazon product identifier you can get from the product page on your inventory page. It's either on the product page or it's on the inventory page page. You can get the ASIN from there. Now your campaign is now ready to roll. So click launch campaign. Now once your campaign is live, this is where the fun stuff begins. Monitoring and optimizing, right? That is fun, right? Keep an eye on metrics like impressions, clicks, purchases, number one, and ACOS and ROAS. ACOS and ROAS are extremely important in determining the efficiency of your ad spend. Now think of it as a fine tuning complex machine. You're going to have to continue you to come back to it. Adjust your bids based on performance. If a keyword is performing well, increase the bid. If not, lower it and perhaps think about adding that keyword as a negative keyword so you can avoid bidding on it and wasting your money. But budget management is very crucial. If your campaign is doing well, you might want to increase your daily budget. If not, don't be afraid to scale it back. Also, A-B test your listing, your pictures, your, your copy. See what really works better. Now, let's talk about some common pitfalls. First, overbidding or underbidding is a common pitfall. Setting bids too high can drain your budget fast while setting them too low means you're missing out on potential sales and that is super painful. Find that sweet spot which means a lot of experimentation. Ignoring negative keywords is a rookie mistake. Regularly update your negative keywords to filter out irrelevant traffic. That's important. And finally neglecting your campaign's performance is a big no-no in my book. Regularly check your campaign every day, your campaign data, and make necessary adjustments. Okay? Check that campaign data. Remember PPC is not a set it and forget a game. Don't sleep on your campaigns. You're just burning up money if you do. You're wasting opportunity. You may be underperforming the potential sales. You're missing out on sales because maybe you're bidding too low. You need to keep up on your campaigns to, to maximize performance. All right, now let's wrap it up. We've covered the basics of Amazon PPC, why it's essential, how to set up your first campaign, and some common mistakes to avoid. Now it's your turn. Go ahead, set up your first PPC campaign and watch your sales increase. Don't forget to check out the resources in the description for more tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Comment below with your questions and I will surely get back to you. I check out the questions on my YouTube channel every day and I try to answer them. And lastly, subscribe for more selling Amazon strategies. And until next time, happy selling and may your PPC campaigns be ever in your favor.